In the cash flow modeler, there are two default ways to view the model. This is either as money in versus money out, which shows your income sources and expenditure, or as savings over time, which shows the year-on-year -year savings in today's money. You can also opt for a third option, which combines the previous two, called savings and cash flow. To add this, go to my account and then to cash flow modeler, where you will see a tick box at the bottom of the page. Let's start with savings over time. Here, in the case of John and Sally Davis, we can see a healthy forecast without any periods of debt, so their expenditure is clearly met by their income. If we hover over each bar to view a breakdown of the amount in each account, the name of the account, the age of the client, and the net growth over time. The dark green bar at the bottom is the current account, which is where surplus income is placed. Expenditure will also be covered by the current account before using any additional savings pots. So, we can see by the end of the forecast at age 100, John and Sally will have under £5,000 in today's money. Now, let's look at the money in versus money out view. Here you will see that each income is represented by a different coloured bar and the client's total expenditure being shown through a black line. Where a client's expenditure exceeds their income, a light green bar may be visible at the top. This is where their deficit is covered by savings, with the system taking funds from the client's current account. At the start, we can see most expenditure being met with John and Sally's respective salaries, alongside their rental property income, with a small amount being covered by savings. When John turns age 65, they both jointly retire and their final salary and state pensions kick in. At age 80, we can see a large spike in expenditure, which must be covered by savings. This is a one-off 50th anniversary cruise. If there are not enough funds to cover the deficit, white space will be seen between the expenditure line and income bars. Finally, the savings and cash flow tab shows a combined view of the other two versions. If we scroll down, we can clearly see the savings at the start of the forecast, savings by the time of retirement, as well as savings at the end of the forecast. We can also quickly change the inflation rate, retirement age and forecast end age using the sliders at the bottom of the page. This means you can easily see the impact that retiring a year later or earlier will have on the client. For example, let's clone this forecast and see what would happen if John and Sally were both to retire when John hits age 60, which is what they would like to achieve. Let's give the forecast a new name and in the cash flow tab, change the retirement age slider to 60. We can now immediately see that without making any changes, John and Sally would clearly not be able to retire at their desired age, based purely on their current financial situation. You can then view a detailed yearly breakdown, which includes extra information if you need it. Just click on a row to expand and view the particular incomes, expenditures, surpluses or deficits, or click expand rows at the top to do it all at once. 